Jared Poland. Fronosphoto.com. And remember a couple of months ago when I critiqued what I thought was the presidential portrait of Donald J. Trump? Well, we were wrong because they just released the official portrait of Donald J. Trump along with Mike Pence. I don't know his middle name. And what I want to do right now is critique those images. So here we have both of the new images that were put out by the White House. We've got the presidential portrait on the left, the official one, and the vice presidential official portrait on the right. So let's start with the old Trump portrait real quick. This is the old Trump portrait. It was taken by what? Sheila Craigshead, who is the official White House photographer, taken with a 1D Mark III, a 10-year-old camera. And we all know that the age of the camera doesn't matter, but the quality of this image was just atrocious. The fact that it had a TV screen in the back with the White House on it was kind of atrocious. And I'm thinking that's a TV screen in the background. And the lighting was atrocious. So how'd she do this time around? Well, we try to look at the metadata first, trying to see what it was shot at and what it was shot with and all of the metadata was stripped from this one except for you can see that it says official portrait of president donald j trump friday october 6th uh, official white house photo by sheila craighead uh so here here's the image where do we start can we start with the background we've got a crooked picture frame in the background we've got terrible wallpaper and we've got the flag is fine obviously having the flag uh, the depth of field it's a pretty deep, deep depth of field, so the background is distracting and out of focus. The background is distracting, in my opinion. The photo is just underexposed. Or the light, the, where's the light? Where is it? Like, we've got a light, a catch light in the bottom of the eye? What is this bouncing off of? Were they using a Gary Fong dome to take this photo? I, I don't, I don't know. Um, this is the largest res that we could find. It came right off of the White House's website. Now, look at the noise in the mouth. It's like, is this a sharpening issue? Is this a shooting issue? It's just really not a good portrait. Now, in terms of his smile, cool. He looks like he, he looks happier in this image than he looks in this image, which is a good thing. So he's smiling, he looks happy, he's always had a nice smile. His hair may be a little messed up, but mine may be as well. But you really don't see much brightness in the face. It's almost like the background is brighter than the foreground, which isn't a good thing. And to get a little more nitpicky, I'm gonna say that I don't like that there's this sliver of the shoulder here, uh, personal opinion thing. I'm sure I've done the same thing in the past. I'm just pointing it out right here. But what could we do to make this better? Because this is not a good portrait in terms of the lighting and the background. It's almost like, it's almost like they were, like, here, you got three seconds to take this photo because he's not giving you any time. You can jump in, you can take the photo with the lights that you have, or you could take three minutes, have lights that are set up before time, have a test subject come in, take the test subject photos, then pop the president in, take your pictures with better lighting, and you'd be good to go. But that doesn't seem to happen here. So let's process this because he's not bright enough. And I think that takes away, it makes the image obviously dark. Just coming in here and brightening up his face automatically makes the picture better. Now, if we add contrast, he starts to turn a little orange. So we can go down here to the orange slider and we can remove some of that orange, all right? Now this isn't, I don't have the raw file to play with, but this already, in my opinion, looks better than that. It's brighter, it's more inviting. Uh, I can't do anything about the background. I mean, I could bring it down, I could paint it, I could paint around it, but I'm, okay. Do you want me to paint around the background? Fine. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out how to paint, not figure out, but let's paint around the background. So we're gonna do this. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna do a generic paint job here. We'll see how this works out. I've got that um, masking selected so I don't have to hold down the control key. All right, we'll just go with that for now. Let me turn O off so we can Nope, don't like that at all. <laughs> well, obviously it's not done very well. Um, so we're gonna leave it at that. I, so I, I think that looks a hell of a lot better than where it started, which was right here. Look how dark that is. Look how much better it is when you just process the file. Now, why aren't they doing that? Was it shot raw? I hope it was shot raw. Now, this looks better to me just brightened up. Just simple editing of brightening it up makes it look more enticing, more inviting, brighter. 
Brighter is happier. Darker is not happy. If that's what they were going for, then they went with it. But I think this is already better. It's not perfect because I didn't sit here and tweak the crap out of it. You know, look, we can keep tweaking a little more. But let's get to Pence's portrait. Pence's portrait. Oh, look, metadata. One, th one, one sixtieth of a second at f3.2. ISO 100 shot at 123 millimeters using the Canon F, sorry, 70 to 200, 2.8 IS. Get out of here, kitty, uh, with the USM. But shot with the 5D Mark III. Still interesting that they're using the older 5D Mark III. Still a great camera, but I would prefer, and especially in the studio, it's still a great camera. I would prefer using a 5D Mark IV or a 1DX Mark II if you're going to shoot with the Canons. But look, it looks much more inviting. It looks more enticing. We come over here. Let's go back to the metadata. We've got all this information written here. A lot more information written here than for the official presidential portrait. Uh, so I like that information. Creator D. Miles Cullen for the White House. That's the copyright. Now let's zoom in on this image right here. Did they miss focus at 3-2? I don't think so. Did they over sharpen the shit out of this? Yes, I think so. I don't even need to tell you I think so because look how over sharp it is. Look what happens to his hair when they over sharpen it. I don't understand the heavy handed editing that they did on this image. The lighting is much better. It's a really, it's a perfectly fine portrait setting, portrait lighting. I like what they did there, but the sharpening is way over the top, way too sharp. It just, and look, it's bringing out all the stubble in his, in his beard or whatever, his soul patch, whether he has a soul patch or not is another story, and, and in his mustache area. So it's just over, over sharpened. And that's not nitpicking by zooming in, because if you were to look at this print, you're gonna see that it looks super over sharpened. I didn't mind this look in the, in the presidential portrait that we saw the first time around, and you can see how shallow the depth of the field, depth of field was in this one. It was just the lighting is so bad. I, in this edit is still not very good, by the way. I would I would need to get that raw file and tweak it. Even, oh, look, get rid of some of that green. Let's brighten it up just a little bit more. Nope, don't want to brighten up the suit too much. Yeah, and that's much better. Again, that's where it started. That's where it finished. What I would say is some constructive criticism for how they could have done this portrait better. You could have done this portrait better in the Oval Office with the president, president standing facing the windows in the Oval Office and use daylight, natural light, to get a better image than this. Backgrounds distracting, crooked, uh, uh, crooked, not Hillary, crooked uh, uh, picture frame is in the background and the wall, it's just, it's just bad. You could have stood him in the middle of the Oval Office using the window light and taking a better portrait quickly. What do you guys think about this portrait? I'm not politicizing this whatsoever. This is about the photo. It's about photography. It's about critiquing. That's what we're talking about in this particular video. So leave your comments about the photo aspect of it down below. And to check out the last critique of the pre uh, presidential portrait, you can click up on the screen to check that out. Also check out the photo news fix, which came out yesterday, which was a mega photo news fix, which I think you will enjoy. It's over 10 minutes because of Photo Plus. That's it, guys. Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.